a new year, but the same old concern in Burlington. I am not too, too worried, but I feel less safe than I have been. I talk to people from all over the place and they say they never want to come downtown because they feel it's unsafe. Mike Williams has been a restaurant owner in Burlington's downtown for 35 years. I probably can think of one gun incident in the 35 years and the 20 times it's happened this year. Country Cardella used to be open late night until 3 a.m., but the recent uptick in crime has deterred them from staying open even past 8. We're a popular downtown spot, especially after the bars close, and I, we just don't want to draw that sort of a crowd. When I say that side of a crowd, just a large crowd into a certain spot, one location, and maybe having something happen there. A graduating senior at Champlain College has felt the effects firsthand. I've certainly experienced more like getting harassed on the street. My car got broken into uh, in May and I was chased in August down an alley. Car thefts are significantly up from the five-year average. Burlington's acting chief calls these crimes of opportunity. Oftentimes used by people to uh, commit other crimes and move around the city, uh, live in the cars at times. Howell's car was broken into when he wasn't around, and he came home to see what appeared to be someone living in his car, along with... Broken window, a uh, bunch of bags and stuff in it. A uh, lot of dead animals in the back. Not sure what's up with that. Despite the record high number of crimes, Acting Chief John Mirad is optimistic for a safer year. 2022 saw some numbers that are really unacceptable and that are historically awful numbers for Burlington insofar as certain kinds of crime. And I'm confident that we're going to be able to reverse those in 2023. Now, in July of 2020, the department had 92 officers. Now that number is down to 63. In a way to incentivize new officers to come to the area, the department is offering $15,000 signing bonuses. Three officers graduated last month in the Vermont Police Academy, and five are anticipated to be hired in the next academy class in February. Live in the newsroom tonight, Sam Israel, ABC 22 News.